So these past few months, John and Clem and their crew have been working on our property to make a beautiful barn. And I think I captured enough footage, but I definitely missed some of it because I'm not always up at 7 a.m. right when they are. So let's get on to it. Here's a few pictures of when they started doing the framework for the barn. Right now, they are putting a plank up at the entrance of the barn. I think these frames are supposed to help with the support when they put the second floor up. After the frames for the first floor were done, we rented a large crane that came on a truck and they started picking up these large heavy trusses and lifting them onto the barn while they screwed them in. Copa was kind of interested too. Now the whole barn's framing is done, so now they are starting to work on the roof by putting plastic sheets down so they can place the metal sheets on top of it to act as a metal roof. You can see I started to run towards the garage because my brother was about to drive off without me. There ain't no sandy beach, no coconut drinks with a fancy name. You ain't gonna see no penthouse sweets, but I can tell you something better if you ask me. It's some big rope swing fishing in the dark, no bobber needed, and I ain't got no night crawl. But you can crawl on me in the steps I see, and we can drive where the mud and the asphalt me. Dear young girl, go soak up the sun till your neck turns red and your truck don't run. This is a long process, so why don't I speed it up for you a little bit? It was kind of a rainy day for us today, so when the sun started shining, it looked really pretty and it added a really cool effect to the video. What's an Uber driver to a loud Chevrolet? What's a downtown girl to a woman like you? Eyes 90 model four two tone tail blue. What's red high heels to your little bare feet? I don't want a reservation unless it's somewhere in the weeds. I don't wish it for time, cause these times I'm living these in a nowhere town in middle Tennessee. Dear young girl, run, go soak up the sun till your neck turns red and your truck don't run. Get those docks hotter than wood stove coal. Sometimes when I look over at these videos, I laugh because since it's going so fast, it looks like everyone's head is just bobbling back and forth as they walk along. Uh, I have an album that is top five in the world in the country charts, and I'm sitting on the side of the road in a 96 Mustang with no tags, times hell, out of gas, and Tubbs' buddies bringing us gas. That's pimp, dude. That's pimp. Go soak up the sun till your neck turns red and your truck don't run. Get those docks hotter than wood stove coal. With a down home girl that you always know. Don't worry about that downtown buzz, cause the shine's more smooth where you come from. No camera, no lights, and no cutscene. Just everlasting country. A quick 
quick note to all the people who have been following our channel. If you want to be able to know every time when we post a video, you can always hit the subscribe button. That way, when we post a video, you will be notified on your phone or iPad or whatever device that you watch on. Now, they can finally start adding the roofing to the barn after placing all of the plastic sheeting down. They took a little break and then they're right back to work. We finally got a sunny day today, yay! But when I think about that, it also makes me think that it must have been really hot for them when they were working, especially on the roof where the sun is directly on them. finished building the walls to the barn and now they're working on the tack room to keep all the tack for our horses. to mention to you guys real quick that my friend Margot has been staying with me for a little while and she wanted to help with the video so you're going to see her pop in a little later. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Mike and John Christman here. And, and I have to first say this. Uh, when we first moved to the property, you might remember I rented an excavator, which I got in trouble with a few times. But when I was on that excavator, it had a radio. And John and his partner, Clem, do this radio commercial. It's great back and forth. It's really a funny commercial advertising their construction company. But I heard that commercial probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 times during my travels throughout the trails on, on the property. It was a lot of fun. I'm not sure this is going to live up to, to, to his commercials, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. So today, um, we did a kind of little barn raising here over the last couple of months. We uh, had a chance to put up a barn. We needed it for horses, and we wanted to have a place to store uh, cars and, and, and then other equipment, tractor equipment, outside equipment. We want to have a place to kind of have that undercover, especially in the wintertime. So we, uh, we, we, we built this barn and um, we're going to talk to John a little bit about how it got constructed. Uh, but really from a functional point of view, we needed, we needed room for two horses and, and we needed to kind of have something that was kind of looked nice, right? Right. Uh, and, and so 
this is what we, we came up with. Um, and, and we're going we're gonna to take a little tour. To be fair, we started with a 42 by 84 cement slab. The slab was already here. So, you know, from a cost point of view, that really saved quite a bit of money. Um, but uh, it, it, when we moved to the property, we, we thought, well, you know, the boys are going to do a lot of the work. We're going to do a lot of the work as a family, but realize really quick <laughs> that not only inside the house, but outside the house, we, we needed help. And, and so we did, we did, uh, we got recommended to give John a call. And uh, John came over and right from the beginning was, was really a partner, you know, rather than just this guy that came in to, to put something up and leave. I mean, he's been with us for, for several months doing a lot of different things um, inside the house, outside the house with cabins, the distillery, and of course, building everything you see here, John did. Matter of fact, he even uh, gave us a nice American flag, which was so awesome, great touch. Uh, so, John, when we first started talking about this, we, uh, we talked about, you know, wanting to have a hayloft, um, wanting to have, uh, wanting to do as much as we could, really, with that 42 by 84 space. Right. Yep. Why did you suggest a monitor barn? Well, a monitor barn, uh, basically you have the height for the horses inside and you can build the stalls, but also it gives you the hayloft where you can store your hay in and, yeah. and, and be able to get it down to the horses uh, fairly easily. So Mike wanted me to come up with something for the slab, but the budget wasn't allowing for a full style monitor barn on the whole slab. So in coming up with a design, Mike and I both kind of worked on what we have here. Um, the monitor part of the barn is built with the stick structure. So it's two by six framing. Uh, 16 inches on center, 2111 siding, uh, and then inside it's kind of open with some carrying beams to uh, support the second floor for the hayloft. Um, obviously, you can see a metal roofing, uh, and then on the back part of the barn, we basically did a post and beam structure um, so that Mike and the boys and Faith maybe help finish the barn, um, face quite a nail pounder, uh, but basically the back part of the barn looks kind of like what the pack room does right now, and we'll show you that in a little bit, but it's, it's traditional framing on the monitor part of the, of the barn. All right, let's go take a look. Follow us in, please. When you come in so it's not glaring, I agree. All right, so John, talk about the, uh, the framing of this. So as you can see, like I said, it's two by six framing um, on the outside walls. Um, we put in a couple of windows so the horses have a way they can get some air and look out. Uh, so basically it was set up with two stalls over in there. And then we basically built these beams, like I said, to carry the second floor and the roof of the monitor. So what are they, two by twelves? Those are two by twelves sandwiched together. So four of them. Yeah, and then you've got your six by six carrying beam and support beam in the middle, um, which is plenty of support for the top part of this. So is this hickory right here? What is this? That's hemlock. 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 Yeah. Sorry, hemlock. Yep. Um, and then uh, so John and I talked about you know what he would do and what we would do. And what, one thing we're gonna do is build our horse stalls. And that'll happen here in the next month or so, we're gonna put some horse stalls in. There'll be one, two stalls. So one stall here, and one stall here, kind of where those windows are. And then and then the open room out here, you saw at the beginning, it's a tap room. Correct. And the boys and I are gonna, are gonna do that tap room as well. Uh, you did the second floor, up, and then we have the, the, the hayloft up there, so that's all good. Um, let's go take a look at the workshop. <clears throat> so, if, so, so John, this space here was how many feet by how many feet? So this is 28 by 42. 
28 by 42 and the so inside we're, we're the barn. 42 foot wide with 28 foot deep this way. Okay. And then this part here, 42 by 56. So it gives us 42 by 84 in all. Um, this section, Mike and the boys are going to finish um, on their own. We're going to guide them a little bit on what they're going to do, but they've got a general idea. I think they can handle it. <clears throat> if not, faith will step in. Uh, <laughs> But we built this as opposed to being, as you can see, all the bracing and everything. I didn't want anything moving. Um, the trusses are, are engineered for the snow load in this area. Um, they're 24 inches on center again, 5 8 plywood on the roof. Your metal roofing should be great. Um, and and the, the T111, that's the outer part here? Correct. What, what's the width of that one? That's 5 8 That's 5 8 yeah. as well, okay. So it acts as your plywood, but it also acts as siding right. to keep the budget down, basically. Yeah, and, and so we're going to stain that here in the coming month or so. We're going to stain that. It'll be different colors, so we'll show that when that happens. Um, yeah, so this space will be used, again, to house you know, our cars and toys, but also we're going to put a lot of firewood in here. Uh, we're we're going to try to get as much firewood in here split now through the winter time, so it's ready next year and gets a chance to season. So having an undercover is gonna, gonna help that drying and seasoning process for us. Right. It, and it, if, if you can kind of wander up that way, Faith, they can kind of see that basically the way this was built, this was built with mono trusses on either side. Then we built a wall on top of the floor that's supported by these beams. And then we put trusses on top of that again. So that's how you get your monitor style look to it. So John, any any recommendations uh, for someone else that might be looking to build a barn? Call me. No, oh, that's okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. Or you can you can research stuff online. I mean you can find a lot of stuff online that, you know, do your research before you talk to a contractor and say this is what I'd like. Monitor style barns are not cheap. But they're beautiful to me. I, I love the looks of them. Yeah, and, and we, we knew that when John showed us the monitor style, that that's the style that we wanted. We felt like that was going to work for us. It gives us a lot of functionality. And, and you know, with, for two horses, we have room for two more stalls if we want them or additional indoor storage area. So it really works out quite quite well. Right. But and I want to... Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, luckily for Mike... And the family, when they bought this place, the slab was or the concrete was already here. So this has frost walls, which is beautiful, and you've got this nice huge slab. So and there was nothing here. There was a building originally, I guess, but it was taken down and moved elsewhere. Mm -hmm. um, so they had this concrete, and why not use it? Which kept the cost down for them. This would have cost a lot more. Right. Yeah, and I have to say though, in uh, in. Believe me, John gives me no discounts, but, <laughs> but, but, but it's okay because it, he's well worth it. And I have to say that if you're in the St. Johnsbury area and you do need something, uh, it's worth at least talking with John and understanding what he can do or help you out. And if he can't, he, I'm sure he can give you some ideas on, on where to go next. But uh, been a great partner and we'll, we'll continue on in, in, in the foreseeable future for sure. But thank you for, for coming and doing this with us. today thank you so much for watching and before you go don't forget hit that subscribe button right above the comments and don't forget to hit the little bell next to that that would help us a lot and if you really enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button right below this video which is just a little thumbs up that's it bye